other than doing the weather for Eyewitness News and doing the weather here, of course, for us here at Big Frog 104, you're a big snowmobiler, correct? I am, yeah. Um, this is a thing that it actually just started last year for me. Um, my dad got a couple used sleds, and we took them out to do a couple rounds last year, and it was really fun. So now I actually get to do it for work. We're doing some snowmobile reports that will be running on Thursday nights, and we're going to go all over central New York. This is such a big area for snowmobiling. People come from all over the country. So where are some of the trails that you think will be good uh, after the storm here? Where are some of the great trails to check out across central New York? Um, uh, There are a lot in Lewis County that are right up on that Tug Hill Plateau. They actually got upwards of three, almost four feet in some areas near um, the Turin area. Um, So I would think by the weekend, those would be pretty well groomed and pretty set. Um, Great base measurements you know we're talking feet <laughs> piled up on you know a couple inches so we're ke- we're keeping adding inches every day this week um, so up there will be pretty good but I think even by the weekend some of the trails a little bit closer to the Mohawk Valley um, Ilian even some of the ones around Deerfield I think if you're looking for those hot ticket trails it's going to be definitely up on the Tug Hill Plateau and uh, up in Lewis County northern Herkimer County Um, Old Forge is going to be great this weekend, too. Um, They got more than a foot, so that'll be a good one to head up to as well. Perfect. So what are some tips you have maybe for some new riders? Like myself, I'm not uh, much of a rider, but I've always been interested in getting into it. So, like, how does one get into the snowmobiling world? Um, You know, I'm a relatively new sledder myself. Um, I take it very slow. Um, Some sleds can go very fast. Um, The one that we have from... Moody's Polaris for our reports um, is a rocket, you could call it. So um, I just take it very slow. Um, Make sure you're aware of your surroundings and don't do anything like running through open water. I would stay off the lakes right now. Um, They haven't had really enough time to get sufficiently frozen, even though, you know, you can take a snowmobile across the frozen lake, but I don't think any of the ones around here are quite safe enough. But definitely just be aware of your surroundings and follow all the signs that are up. Um, A lot of the trails around here have great signage, so um, it's pretty easy to follow if you just kind of obey the rules of the road. (laughs) <laughs> so you're saying I can't combine my passion for boating and snowmobiling at the same time right now? <laughs> um, probably not. It, it wouldn't work out well. It would not end very well, I, I would imagine. So, But thank you so much for your time. It's Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Rachel Witter. Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you.